Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a little pick a card for Monday the 12th of December but you know it's a timeless reading so whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Uh, pile number one is the Blue Appetite, pile number two is the Amazonite and pile number three is the Pink Rhodochrosite. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile and obviously if you want more time you can pause the video. Okay, so just move that guy, excuse me, out of the way. And we will start with pile number one, the blue appetites. Okay, so you guys have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. <laughs> I think Spirit's gonna nag you about something, pile one. You have purpose, oh yeah, for sure, we're getting nagged. I know what I am here to do. You have the Knight of Swords. You have, the <laughs> this is a nagging pile for sure. You have the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups. I'm just gonna put that there for now. And you have Gift. Okay, okay, pile number one. <laughs> For those of you that chose this pile, you, you know what your purpose is, okay? There's some kind of gift that you have, um, or there's some kind of opportunity. I feel like for most of you, it's some kind of gift that you have, like you know that this is your purpose in life, you know this is your destiny, you know it's what you're supposed to be doing, um, but you're kind of... <laughs> You kind of not really wanting to do it, like I don't know if it's because like with the three of cups it might be working with people or working with groups of people or something. But see there, spirits brought this little cup in, and you're like, ah. <laughs> you're kind of looking at the three of cups, and you're like, ah, oh, don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. I feel like it's something to do with working with people, and you're just. <laughs> You've been kind of procrastinating. There's a very clear message in this pile. Um, I don't know how else to say it. Like it, it's time to stop procrastinating and 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 do it, okay? Because I, I, yeah, you just you just gotta do it, okay? There's something here as well with discipline. They're saying like you can do this, okay? Whatever this is, you can do it. And also, I don't know. It's like something that should be a celebration, but you're kind of worrying about it as well. Because it seems to me like with the gift as well, it's like some kind of some kind of opportunity is being presented to you and you're like, oh, oh I don't want to do it. <laughs> like it's hard or I don't want to do it. Like I work with people. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. But see with this Knight of Swords, this is very much um, a card of like just put all the concerns and like all the worries to the side and like all the emotions getting in the way and just do it. Just just do it, okay? Like stop worrying about it. Stop thinking that you can't do it. You can. Because you know this is your purpose. You know this is something that you're really, really good at and you know that you're here to do it, okay? So get it done. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. But yeah, that kind of is the message. Like with discipline and the Knight of Swords, it's like stop worrying about it and just like stop procrastinating. Because I'm like that. I spend all my time worrying about things and I could have just done it. You know what I mean? By the time that I've spent all that time worrying, I could have just done it. You know, so yes, that's your message, pile number one. I hope it was useful. Uh, your slightly naggy message for a Monday morning. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Okay. I'm so clumsy today. I've just been knocking everything off. So you have pile number two, you are the Amazonite. And you have your freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You, you have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. There's something here about a new job or a new um, career path that's going to bring you a lot more freedom, like a lot more autonomy and a lot more abundance. Like you're not going to have to stick to schedules so much or 
um, something like that. Like you set your own hours or you work less for more money or something. Like it's more freedom, you know? I would say this is maybe like almost for sure like setting your own hours or something. Or like working for yourself. You have um, the Queen of Cups and the Chariot. I was going to say Cancer. Some of you may have a Cancer coming towards you as well, but I just want to do this career message first. It's something to do, like they're saying, listen to your intuition. Okay? Because you, I, f I feel like a lot of you watched pile one. <laughs> um, there's something that you're being pushed towards that's going to bring you a lot of abundance and freedom. And they're saying like, listen to your intuition and with the chariot, like really go for it. Just go for it. Just do it. Okay. Cause you're going to be very successful at this. The chariot is like being recognized in work for your accomplishments, you know, being very successful. Um, you also have the privileged lady. So, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, like this is, you're going to have money. Like, you know, the, the privileged lady is like, you're going to be working a lot less, but having more money, you know, it's that type of energy. See with the queen of cups as well. I feel like it's something to do with the softer side, like emotions or art or charity work or, I mean, you can, you can look up the queen of cups, like something to do with nurturing, like healthcare or anything like that. This like spirituality. It's something like that. That's going to bring you this money. Yeah. You have poverty in the reverse. So this is like no more worrying about money. Basically like no more, no more five of pentacles energy. This is something that's going to be very, very stable for you. Very, very stable. And you have message of concern. I knew there was someone trying to sneak in here. You have message of concern and main mail. Now that's not a message of concern because she looks like she's smiling. You're just going to get a very surprising message from someone who's a main male or main female. They could be a cancer or they could have cancer in their chart. Okay. Um, also kind of picking up Virgo. Um, very, very like, they're more of a serious energy. I think very presentable. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through. Like very presentable, very clean. Mm -hmm. Very like solid solid person but what they have to say I don't know if it's you've been waiting for a long time to hear from them or you meet them very suddenly but yeah they're gonna send you a very surprising message in a good way okay so pile number two that was your message um I hope it was a useful reading thank you so much for watching and as always I wish you many many blessings love and light take care And pile number three, you were the pink rhodochrosite. You got a big stack of cards, okay. Um, you have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve, sorry, who serve my higher good. Okay. I can already tell without looking at the rest of the cards, there's a new person headed your way. This is someone you've manifested. Uh, they don't have to be brand new, but you know, it's not an ex. It's not someone that you've had a lot of history with. This is someone that you can trust because I feel like those of you in this pile, and this is probably a pretty broad statement anyway, but I feel like there's a particular heartbreak that really affected you that you've kind of been holding on to and you don't need to. Spirit's telling you, you don't need to hold on to that anymore because there's someone new that's coming and you can trust this person. You're being guided towards this person and Spirit's saying, yes, like trust your intuition. You can trust this person because this is someone who, they're good for you. They serve your higher good, you know, and I think you can tell that just by kind of you know, thinking about their qualities, you're like, yeah, like they're stable and they're, they're kind and they're not, they don't rush in. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I feel like this person's good for me. Oh my God. No way. Look, you have the lovers and the two of cups. <laughs> okay. This new person coming in, 
there, it's a soulmate, okay? No question about it. This is like a past life connection that you've been, um, you've met this person before in a past life. Um, if you don't believe in soulmates, think of this person like a best friend, okay? And it doesn't even have to be love, although I feel like for most of you it probably is, but like if you're already married or whatever, this could be like a, a best friend coming in, but you're gonna be so happy. You're like two peas in a pod. This is like me and you versus the world. Best friend, you're gonna get along so well together. You're meant for each other. Like you guys were meant to find each other in this life. You are gonna be so happy with this person. It's gonna be so easy. Um, yeah, but you have the death card and the three of swords. See, I feel like there was an ending. Somebody broke your heart in the past, okay? But it's time now to let that go. It's time to let it go, you know? Um, sorry, I'm just screwing around with the camera, but I, I feel like it's just time. It's time to sever that cord with this past person. You know, mentally or like physically, whatever, like with this person that broke your heart, it's just, it's time. Because this new person wants to come in. It's time, they're coming, okay? You also have, oh, you have this Ace of Pentacles here as well. So there's like a new offer coming in from this person, but it, you have to let go of the past, okay? Like you, you have to stop projecting the past onto this new person. You know, if you're still, um, and basically what I mean by that is like, you can stop worrying, you know, it is the new person. It's not like this past person's not coming back to hurt you. Like it's not, it's not like round two. This is someone new and you can trust them and you know who I'm talking about. Like for those of you that this is resonating with, you know who I'm talking about. You know you can trust them, you know they're coming. So you, you can stop worrying, okay? They're not gonna be like the past person. They're, this one's not gonna break your heart. You also have imprisonment and change. And you have marriage and you have judication. See, I feel like there's a couple of things there. For one, I think you've been kind of imprisoned by this past person that broke your heart. And I feel like you're busting out of that, okay? I feel like that's either happened very recently or it's happening like today, you know. Um, it might have happened with the full moon, you know. And then you have marriage and you have judication. So this new person is going to be the one that you marry, okay. Or, you know, if marriage is not your thing, like being a long-term commitment with them, okay. I feel like this person coming in for some of you, um, I feel like they were in another connection, like for some of you, okay, um, they're going to come in and tell you that there's been a change, like they've moved out um, or it's ended, they've left them, there's a separation, something like this. And with marriage and judication, like there's going to be a divorce basically, okay? That's only for those of you that that resonates with, okay? So that is your message pile number three. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was useful. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light.